This SHOT Show coverage is sponsored by Ace Virtual Shooting, Filster Holsters, Night Vision Inc., and PTS. Links will be in the description. My name is David Lee, you're watching Angel with Hat. We're here at SHOT Show 2024 with Stress Fest. What's your name, buddy? Uh, my name is Rob, one of the trainers with uh, Stress Fest and uh, SICAM. Awesome, so what is Stress Fest? Stress Fest, uh, simply put, it's a reality-based force-on-force training. Uh, the difference with this system, as opposed to some of the other systems, is there's no projectiles going back and forth. The only, the only thing moving down range is an IR laser. So how it works is when the IR laser strikes uh, the panel, which I'm wearing here, um, it will send a message to the belt that's around the participant's waist. And depending on what you're looking for, that belt will deliver a message to the student either through vibration or a uh, varying levels of the shock. So introducing a little bit of pain penalty, uh, which will introduce that stress through the, uh, through the belt. Awesome. Yeah. So what platforms are you using? Uh, so right now for firearms platforms, we've got a few different ones. Um, lots of dry fire options. Um, and then uh, uh, AR platforms, the GBLS. Airsoft uh, with the uh, with the IR laser adapter on the end. Um, if uh, someone's looking for something a little more realistic, there are also um, uh, conversion kits, so you can actually use a, a real firearm with a blocked barrel. Now you're going to get some recoil. You're still going to have a round eject. You're still going to get that slide locking back. A um, bunch of different functions with that mag changes and all that sort of stuff. So, depending on what you're looking for, the company's willing to work and kind of. Uh, adapt to what uh, what your requirements are. So the nice thing about the laser, it's uh, pinpoint accurate. Um, so again, teaching most of what we train on the range is center mass shots. So that laser, once it hits center mass, again, it delivers the message to the belt. So if we look at the belt right now, it's 23, and so we'll measure the hits. So if I go on target, you'll see the hit goes up to 24. And I don't know if you can hear the vibration. It's just on a vibrate mode. All right. As soon as I move off target, it won't read it. So again, back on target, and I'll get that accurate. Can you do a couple more just for the camera? Hey. For sure. There are some adapt, adapt, adapters too. So you, if you're looking for side panels, uh, so if you get hit on the side, um, same thing, it'll register to the belt. One of the other nice things too is if you're looking for something a little more uh, specific, you want to do headshots. See on the bottom of the hat here, there are lasers. So if you wear the hat, the laser will kind of cone down. Um, if you hit in the face, kind of that face area, again, it'll register to the belt. Nice thing about the laser, it's 100% eye safe. So it really cuts down on a lot of the um, safety gear that's required in some of the other systems. So more of our demonstration here. So. Again, this is a little more realistic here. You get that recoil. Again, as soon as I go off, back on target. Do you want to come more demos? For sure. The next level they've gone to is called the Stress Vest uh, Tactical. Um, Stress Vest Elite, sorry. What, uh, what some of the military, fort, military and SWAT teams that are using the product, they found it's a little cumbersome. Uh, with, with the vest. If you're trying to access your mags, do mag changes and you're wearing molly, it's, it's became a little bit cumbersome. So this was kind of the next evolution. So again, this here is just going to simulate a regular duty vest with molly. So the belt now, it's quite a bit sleeker, um, a little more s smaller, still the still same functions, still going to give that, um, deliver that pain penalty to the midsection. Now the difference here is instead of wearing the sensor on your chest, the sensors are on the helmet. And you see all the way around the helmet. And how this will work now is think of like a sheet coming down all around the body, 360 degrees to about midsection. So now if you're working and you hit anywhere on that body face 360, that will register through these sensors and deliver a message to the belt. Awesome. Yeah. And what, what was the original concept for, uh, for Stress Vest? Uh, just to make your training a little more realistic. Um, one of the things we found with some of the other systems, a lot of the 
safety gear, you're going to lose that auditory feedback. You're going to lose the facial expressions. With this system where you don't have those many of those um, safety precautions, you still get, you're, you're going to be able to hear what your role players are saying. You're going to be here. You're going to be able to hear what's going on. You're going to see facial expressions. So it makes your training a little more realistic. Uh, the nice thing too is with that thought or fear of getting that shock to the midsection, you start to see that stress uh, come up a little bit, and which is going to try to replicate real stress when you're out on the road training or you know a real life situation. The, the stress that kicks in when you're actually in these situations, this is going to. This tries to replicate it as best it can in the real world. Um, some of the nice things about the laser or this system, it's gonna give you a lot more freedom in where you can train. Uh, you're able to train in schools, uh, shopping malls, courthouses. There's no cleanup, there's no fuss. So people are a lot more willing to bring you in, let you train uh, when there's no fear of walls getting damaged. Um, Laser will go through glass, so if you have someone standing on the other side of a, a, a window, uh, some of the projectile systems, they're not going to get that feedback. With this system, that laser will penetrate through the glass, register on the, on the vest and give them that, that uh, feedback that they're not in an ideal spot and they need to start moving. Vest has got a bunch of different options too. Um, it's pre-programmed with 12, 12 different options. Um, some of the main ones are one hit, one penalty, uh, ones that uh, are used a lot is a in, uh, move to cover mode. So if you're trying to teach someone that, you know, if they're in a, a fight, they can't stand still, if they get hit, their first uh, first indication on the belt will be a, a vibration. They don't realize that they're in a bad spot they need to move. Each subsequent hit will now start to increase in pain. So they're going to start getting that, that feedback that way. Uh, one of the other bigger uh, ones is... Uh, injured officer mode, sorry. And the injured officer mode now, the belt can be programmed 10, 20, 30 seconds. If that officer gets hit or the participant wearing the vest gets hit, that belt will randomly cycle for that 10, 20 or 30 seconds. So now indicating that yes, A, you've been hit, but now you still have to fight through that uh, stress and that pain and realize that you've got a, a, a goal to finish. So it's teaching you to fight through mm -hmm. and eventually win. And then realize that Maybe you have to do that self-care, that first aid, let you know, communicate with your partner, whoever you're training with, that this is happening. So a bunch of different options uh, that you can use that way too. Awesome. Well, thank you very much, man. Yeah, thank you. Nice to meet you. Take care. Thank you.